of you here are uh, developers? Okay. Uh, how many of you here have ever made an ad ever? I have a few. Okay, not too bad. My people are here. I'm actually a developer. I'm not your people. I'm becoming your people with best ever. So best ever is if Chad GPT and uh, Canva had a baby. Um, so you go in and you say, hey, I have this product, this company that I want to make creatives for. Um, here's a link of my website, make me an ad. And we make you ads. Uh, we make image creatives, we make video creatives, and we make them in any aspect ratio that you can imagine. Uh, most developers will be like, oh, what's the big deal? Um, ask your marketing friends. It's one of the most painful things is to take a creative and adapt it to uh, multiple different aspect ratios. So I'll get straight to the demo. Um, let's make an ad. Um, I was just doing my expense reports, so I have ramp on my mind. Um, unless somebody wants to make an ad for something else, I'm just going to go with ramp. Mercury. Mercury. Okay, there we go. Why not? <laughs> Mercury.com. All right, there we go. Um, all right. Um, so what's happening behind the scenes? Uh, behind the scenes, we are scraping Mercury's website. So if they block us, womp womp, I might have to manually do it. Um, but we also try to get their assets. We try to understand what their br branding voice is. Um, and then, you know, what's their logo? all this stuff. We try to assess all of these. And then we also understand that, okay, they're probably selling to businesses. So perhaps their ads need to look professional and not necessarily fun and colorful and things like that. Maybe, maybe they're different, but we'll see. Uh, but we're doing all of this behind the scenes. And then, okay, we can name this campaign. Mercury, there we go. Um, so we're targeting small business owners. You can, of course, change it if you want to. We're trying to drive sales. Kind of makes sense. I'm going to do some asset selection here because typically assets with um, text on them are not the best for making ads. So I'm going to get rid of some of these. Um, let's see. Um, this one too. This one's not too bad. Um, I want to actually go to their site and see what, I'm actually a Mercury customer too. So uh, let's maybe pick out some cool assets. Maybe this card looks pretty good. Um, copy image address. Um, yeah, we're still, we're still loading some stuff, I guess. Um, fetch, come on. Cool, I think we got that asset here. Cool, I think this is good. Um, Let's think of some concepts. What's a good ad concept for Mercury? Um, let's go over here. Cool. We've already generated some ideas for you. Um, how about effortless spend control? That works. Um, optimized cash management. Why not? Um, insurance coverage. Yeah, definitely. After what happened um, <laughs> earlier this year, not with Mercury, earlier this year. You all know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, let's generate some creatives for Mercury. There we go. So we have multiple different assets that get created at once. So uh, similar to Mid Journey, but the cool thing is each one is its own different vibe. So you'd be able to go in and say, I like this, I like this, this is trash, regenerate this. So you can sort of keep all of these threads active at the same time. But the cool thing is while we wait for this to be generated, if you go into products and see what we have for Mercury, we have a bunch of stuff that we've already scraped and saved. So if you want to recreate an ad for Mercury next time, easy peasy. Um, all right, let's see how the creatives are looking. Cool, we have one here that's looking, mm, okay, maybe not the best, let's wait. Okay, not the best. I'm just gonna say regenerate right over here. I'm not very impressed. Um, this one's not too bad. This is usable. 
Um, this one's not terrible. This one, uh, maybe some cropping could fix it and the color issue here. So let's fix them one by one. Super easy. So let's say I want to refine this because, you know, actually it's not too bad. Um, but let's see what actually the square one looks like. Not too bad. You would be able to sort of go in, drag this out. There you go. Um, and we also have a landscape version. Um, let's say we want to add a little bit of animation to it. So let's say animate this. Boom. So you now have it animated and you have it animated in all different aspect ratios. So super easy to go from a link to an actual creative. Um, one cool thing is this also works like a chat GPT. So let's say um, make the background gradient, right? So I just had a suggestion and I clicked on it um, and the back we'll see what it does but it's kind of like a little bit of chat gpt meeting figma too so you would be able to quickly um, tell it to do things and if you're not a designer no problem we'll try to understand what it is that you're trying to do and we'll try to do it for you um, so that's um it will take a few seconds uh, we can come back to this um, we're at time but if you want to do like one more thing we'll do cool one okay one last thing um, I had a lot to show, but uh, you guys, uh, you guys will sort of see it eventually. Uh, the coolest thing that I wanted to show. Okay, so I think uh, we did get the, you know, the background did in fact change to um, what I was going to say. Um, the coolest thing I want to show is those videos are cool, but they're not really videos. They're kind of like gifts, and you know, sure it's good, but can we do it better? Um, in fact, better is coming. I wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of one of these videos that we made. Um, this was with one image, no 3D involved, fully generated using best ever. Enjoy. There's no music, unfortunately, so. But yeah, um, this was fully AI generated. Uh, did not use Sora. This is us. Um, cool. So I will pause there and uh